They're the best of the best. I was hoping you'd give me a bath. I'm very, very dirty. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best, best picture Oscar winning movies. Due to the huge number of excellent Academy Award winning movies, we narrowed our list by focusing on those that offered more than just a few laughs and gasps. Our list includes the cinematic landmarks that nabbed the Oscar and ultimately made Hollywood what it is today. Number 10, The Bridge on the River Kwai. Set in an Indo-Chinese POW camp, this multiple Oscar winner follows British prisoners as they rally to construct a bridge for their Japanese captors. I'm just a slave, a living slave. With Sir Alec Guinness's Lieutenant Colonel Nicholson leading the charge, each captive debates whether he should jeopardize the construction or finish it as a testament to British character. A great representation of leadership, obsession, and the madness of war, fans of the genre won't be disappointed. Suddenly you realize you're nearer the end than the beginning. And you wonder, you ask yourself what the sum total of your life represents. Number nine, Gladiator. At my signal, unleash hell. Director Ridley Scott teamed up with Russell Crowe for a film that rejuvenated the public's love of army epics and gladiatorial tales of victory. Maximus has been betrayed and enslaved, and he must fight for his freedom at the tip of a sword. We stand side by side with the gladiators and experience their journey to regain their humanity in this beautifully directed Best Picture winner. Are you a man who once said death smiles at us all? All a man can do is smile back. Number eight, No Country for Old Men. Do you have any idea how crazy you are? Although the majority of this film's plot plays out as a cat-and-mouse chase, it's also a masterfully executed neo-western thriller that put the Coen brothers back in the limelight and made the Academy flip the coin in their favor. Would you hold still, please, sir? With psychotic characters and eerie monologues, each scene delivers unexpected results, as Javier Bardem's bad guy is dead set on getting some drug money back. It also proves the Cohen's trademark of intertwining plot lines is still a winning formula. Number seven, Casablanca. He is looking at you, kid. Considered by many as one of history's most perfect films, Casablanca combines enduring romance, conspiracy, bravery, and patriotism with beautiful cinematography and breathtaking performances, and places it all in a wartime setting. The Academy was powerless to resist this movie's strength, as cynical American expat Rick Blaine chooses between an old flame and what's right. Love, it seems, has triumphed over virtue. If you never watch this film, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. Number six, The Departed. What's the matter, smart ass? You don't know any fucking Shakespeare? This is the film that scored Martin Scorsese his long awaited first Oscar. A 21st century take on gangster hierarchy and police corruption in Boston, it trails Leonardo DiCaprio and Matt Damon as they infiltrate each other's groups. I just want my money and I want to go home. All right, that'd be the best thing I think for everybody. Fair enough. But the prize for most terrifying undoubtedly goes to Jack Nicholson's mob boss, Frank Costello. I hope I won't have to remind you that if you don't find that cheese-eating rat bastard in your department, most likely it won't be me who suffers for it. Lathered in Goodfellas-style grittiness, this film's intricate plot, excellent acting, and fantastic direction make it pure genius and definite Oscar bait. Excuse me. Got a date with some angels. Number five. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. It's all right, Nurse Pilbo. If Mr. McMurphy doesn't want to take his medication orally, I'm sure we can arrange that he can have it some other way. It's difficult to watch this Ken Kesey adaptation, as its numbing backdrop, spooky soundtrack, and freakishly convincing characters create a disturbing atmosphere. Hey, 
have This a uh, bitch, Mike Murray, what you trying to do? Get my ass really fine, Mike, come on, get your ass out of here. We travel down the rabbit hole with jokester Murphy as he serves an easy disciplinary sentence in a mental institution, but winds up rebelling and making the lives of other patients a little more, well, lifelike. <laughs> How about it, you creep, you lunatics, mental defectives? Let's hear it for Blue Goose Randall back in action. Nice shirt, Chesaroo. <laughs> On the strength of an electric Jack Nicholson performance, this Oscar winner makes us question the viability of extravagant blockbusters. Let's uh, raise our hands up in the air. Just raise them up. Up, you understand? Raise the hands up. Here, up. Raise your hands up. Up. That's it. That's it. Up. All the way up. All the way up, that's a baby, all right. Number four, Schindler's List. Stop the train! He's here! Stop the train! Winning seven Oscars, this realistic retelling of German businessman Oscar Schindler's efforts to save Jews from the Holocaust brought the cinematic world to a standstill. The SS beat me up. They would have killed me, but I'm essential to the war effort. Thanks. To you. That's great. Steven Spielberg offers a critique on man's naive and inhuman tendencies in this mostly black and white film, as he traces the transformation Schindler endures. Though the film will bring you to tears, it still manages to set forth an optimistic story that leaves you feeling hopeful. Happy birthday. Well, well, Mr. please. Thank you very much for the lovely cake. <clears throat> Number three, The Silence of the Lambs. Good morning. This flick literally wrote the book on thrillers. Based on a classic Thomas Harris novel, it was the first horror movie to be named Best Picture, and it swept the big five categories. Psychopathic screen legend Hannibal Lecter teams up with green FBI agent Clarice Starling to catch a serial killer. Oh, I go home, please. Please go home. He places the lotion in the basket. <laughs> And the resulting transvestite fantasies, skinned humans, mind games, and face eating still makes us question our own sanity. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Bye. Number two, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. I see in your eyes the same fear that would take the heart of me. A day may come when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. Anyone who says fantasy epics can't deliver great storytelling has never seen this Peter Jackson film. Tracing both The Hobbit's journey to Mount Doom, as well as Aragorn's ferocious battles, This day we fight! The movie lets us experience everything from lost limbs to finding out who your true friends are. As the ever-present threat of the One Ring's power is finally dispatched, the Academy honored the entire trilogy by naming its final film Best Picture. I can see the shine. <sighs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. It's the weirdest thing. I feel like I've been in a coma for about 20 years. And I'm just now waking up. Do you want a chocolate? I could eat about a million and a half of these. I love you. You are no gentleman. And you, miss, are no lady. Oh. But don't think that I hold that against you. Number one, The Godfather, part two. Mi padre si chiama Antonio Andolini e questo è Patrick. Oh, I mean to the bookstore! This is everything we love about gangster flicks rolled into one. Francis Ford Coppola presents us with the rise within the mafia of both Vito Corleone and his son Michael. With strong violence, an intelligent screenplay, quotable phrases, and realistic confrontations that remind us of fly-on-the-wall documentaries, and Pentangeli is a dead man. It's one of the most significant films of all time, not to mention a cutthroat and merciless take on the American dream that the Academy couldn't refuse. My offer is this. Nothing. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Best Picture Oscar winner? 
For more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You go. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Thank you.